Cardiogenic shock has a very, very high mortality, so roughly 50%, and currently only few trials have been performed in patients with cardiogenic shock. And so we need much more evidence for patients with cardiogenic shock to reduce the still very, very, very high mortality. And carpal shock um, is now the largest randomized trial um, which has been performed so far in patients with cardiogenic shock. Shock means that the, uh, the organ perfusion is not adequate. There is not enough blood supply for the tissues of the bodies to function properly. So if there is, for example, a large myocardial infarction, uh, large parts of the heart are being at risk and, and probably already dead and do not function properly. And these patients are very sick. They have a very high risk of dying. And the, the way to treat this situation is to open up mechanically this blockage. In many patients, you will not only find one blockage, but several in several arteries. And the culprit shock trial asked a quite simple question. Does it make sense to open up all these arteries? Or is it better to just concentrate on the most important artery, the one that's responsible for the onset of this shock situation. In our trial we now found that um, doing less, so meaning that we only treat the infarculated artery and treat the other blocked arteries later on is more beneficial for the patient. And we can re even reduce um, mortality, so we can improve survival of these patients um, if we only treat one artery. Now the guidelines just um, recommend what we have found in our trials, that we should treat only the carpet lesion. And this is now uh, a new recommendation in the guidelines. The study results have to be so important and so clear that they will be implemented in the guidelines of the cardiac societies and then it will come into clinical practice. Since the study results were so clear, there is no challenge to translate these results into clinical practice. We are now the group having done the largest trials in cardiogenic shock and in the United States there is ongoing discussion if trials like this can be done. Um, we have shown that it's possible to do and now I think, this is also my impression, that um, all over the world people are now thinking about how to do trials in cardiogenic shock and I think this is the best thing what we can do to, um, to get more evidence for the treatment of patients with cardiogenic shock. Mm -hmm.